Okay. Oh, Max. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, because um. Because the curse is gone. Okay. But now I'm conflicted because um. Because well. So Travis, Bobby, Jedediah, all of them, were a part of burning that place down six years ago, right? That's what we're being led to believe right now. Because they wanted to kill Silas because he bit Caleb, who bit Chris and Kaylee. So they wanted to end the curse by killing Silas. So they burnt the place down and killed a bunch of innocent people. And now Eliza wants revenge, so she's haunting them. She's haunting the whole place, Hackett's Quarry. And she wants me to, basically she wants me to kill um, the Hackett's. And I'm conflicted because now I kind of, you know, I kind of want to, low-key. I kind of want to betray Travis, kill Bobby, kill Jedediah, because that is so fucked up on so many levels. But I feel like Travis kind of has a change of heart and he, maybe he wasn't a willing participant of that. I don't know. But I feel like it would, it would, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be good to like betray him now, you know? And Bobby, he just feels like a dumbass who just listens to whatever his family tells him. The only one who maybe I, I'd like to kill, to be honest, is Jedediah, to be completely honest. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. But yeah, we're Max, Hackett's Quarry Island. Chapter 10, Bricks and Mortar. Hi, buddy. Finally getting to play you. Chapter 10. Oh, man. Oh, shit. What the, what the fuck? Why am I on top of a fucking tree? <laughs> Guess you were resting up there or something. Laura! Be careful, dude. Blood. I think that's like your own blood. How the hell am I gonna get down? Like that. <laughs> it's an answer. Okay. <laughs> You are on an island, buddy. Oh, yeah. Get some clothes on. Where the hell are my clothes? What is he complaining about? It's just gonna be some stupid. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cute. Gotta find Laura. A crop. Okay, I love that. That's so cute. <laughs> hey, fashion has no gender. And I firmly believe that. I mean, I want a skirt. It's fine. It's cool. It's nice to get to play as Max. I love him. And I missed him. We got to see so little of him. I think I was pretty correct about him being the Jessica. Not so much Jacob. Well, kind of, but not as much.
Oh, Sellers hat. Yeah, she does have a hole for a ponytail, but it's like designed that way. That's cool. Oh, he put on her hat. Cute. He's fully just wearing Lara's clothes. I love that. Wait, let me see the hat on him. I want to see it. Give me a better shot of him. Oh, cute. Wait, I could just... Oh, cute. This is really cute. <laughs> Nothing quite as intimate as wearing your partner's clothes, I guess. Or maybe not. Maybe that's not that intimate. <laughs> but it's still nice to see. I wouldn't know if it's nice actually, though. <laughs> Because I have been single all my life. Well, I guess I like wasn't single sometimes when I was really young, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> mm. Swim to shore. Oh, you said that underwater. That was cool. Oh, he lost the hat. Okay. No. This better have a great fucking ending. Yeah, for real. You deserve a good ending, Max. But you lost her hat. Got him. I'm getting worried. Oh fuck. Fuck. Oh god. Are you kidding me? I should have stayed on the goddamn island. Fuck's sake. I should have waited for Laura to come get me. <sighs> Okay, I'm getting clo closer to my predicted death count. Unless the side characters count, because then I have more. <laughs> we'll see. Resting please, Max, you are, you are a real one. You deserve better, too. <laughs> Get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. <laughs> it's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. That's true. It, like, I remember it thundering when... They don't like water, remember? Right. When, um... Mm, mm, Emma and Jacob oh, were by the We should have just been swimming in the lake all night. For real. <laughs> and die of hypothermia? Oh. No. That's very true. You're smarter than I am, well, Caitlin. I would have just smiled now. all night. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. I keep saying for real. I guess it's like a nervous thing for me. I finally get to walk around as Caitlyn. First time. Nice. I'm still wondering if that free so is gonna come back and in, in supply. I guess we'll see. Wait, what is her objective? Vantage point. Oh. We're in the library. Hmm. 
Maybe. But that doesn't seem like a vantage point. Maybe it is. We'll see. I'll look around a bit more. Are we not gonna go get um, Emma and Abigail? Feels kind of rude if we didn't. Oh, there's a door here. In the daytime, it was way too dark in that corner to see it. <laughs> Which looks like looked like a dead end. I'm thinking that maybe the window's the only way, unless we can go upstairs. Upstairs, nice. Because an upstairs vantage point would be a lot better. Oh, and I haven't really explored here because we haven't been able to walk around here. Jedediah, Constance, and maybe Travis, maybe Chris, maybe Bobby. Probably Bobby. Tag. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and yeah. Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Mm. Bobby? That's the big guy? Bobby N. Septimus Hackett How long has or whatever. This guy been here? Large and overbearing. Yeah. And this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the largest chimney column. Oh, there's an update. Septimus Hackett was running the show when the Hackett's fortune started to crumble. He was responsible for closing down the quarry all those years ago after falling on hard times. Creepy. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. <laughs> I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> oh, kind of cool. Keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Oh, so that's one of the vantage points. Okay. And that looks like a good one because the the chimney is falling apart so i can use that as you know kind of like a thing a weapon so that is definitely a good option but i want to keep looking around i hope it's not timed oh a staircase here too Wow. That was like a classroom. Cool, 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 cool. Poor Ian. Oh, Some sheep. camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. 
It's a sheep. Okay, that's sad. A memorial of the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of a drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. Oh, because he's dead. Hindsight. Sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Chris ate him. <laughs> That's so messed up. Rip Ian, we hardly knew you. Is that like an old timey spelling of ye or am I dumb? I don't know. Why would I be an expert on old timey English? I don't fucking know. A ring. Where have I seen this emblem before? Uh, discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription re reveals that it belongs to Bobby Hackett. What is that inscription? I can't really tell. What is it? A ring with a crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Sure, she could. Yeah, I can't really tell what it is. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Uh, a good two or careful with that that's a camp relic <laughs> relax it's dead anyway oh uh, r.i.p megaphone <laughs> cute For something. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room, he's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Hmm. I found all the evidence. Cool. Uh, archive trail cam footage from Hackett Woods dating back six years. Found all the evidence on my first playthrough. Amazing. Full moon, full moon, full moon, full moon. Cool. Got it. Is this a good vantage point? Or I guess not. I think I've checked everything, so I think. The painting is probably the best one because of the chimney. through the summer Who okay kill, you'll make you stronger <laughs> we're here to lead the way that meets for life we're proud to I'm say <laughs> shout out loud we're hacketeers he does not know that the song two months and you never learn the words <laughs> he's a goofball okay Jesus. 
Is it coming down the chimney? Fuck. Showtime, motherfuckers. Yeah. Okay, pause. We're back to Jacob, thank god. It's been a while. Oh, you see that extreme lag with the audio cutout and everything? I'm glad I figured this out. So that the last few scenes can... be good. Okay, I'll check the evidence. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Cambridge never knew how Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they did not know didn't know a lot about the camp leader, Chris Hackett. That's a weird little description. <laughs> Ian was a sheep, the camp mascot. Something slaughtered him down in the storm shelter. Weird that those got unlocked in different orders, but that's fine. It's not like it's the biggest plot point in the world. But it's sad. Poor little sheep. Um, Caitlin has Dylan's company in the lodge. Oh. Okay, so he might have died. Jacob Hackett Woods, it's 3 a.m. That's cool. Hey buddy, you've been through a lot, huh? Yep. I feel you on that. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. Oh. Fuck. I just want one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? Because she sabotaged Stop you. crying, you big baby. It's okay to cry. It's fine. But yeah, he did kind of fuck everyone over. <laughs> That's very true. You don't know what to do. Sweetie. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Alive and well. You got that? What is going on out there? Should we go find the others? No! Sorry. Oh. Am I Caitlin or is it just like. Okay. We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm Caitlin, okay. So is it time for the what big the? showdown? Oh my god. Symbolic, I guess? Oh my god, okay. It's showtime. Oh god. We got this. You got this, come on. Gun at the ready. Wait. Maybe it's a mistake, but wait. I, I, that's what I feel drawn to. Ew. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Run, run. Run. Oh no. Shit. Are you kidding me? I got I got my little gay boy killed. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Bye, Dylan. I'm a failure. I don't know how to shoot. My instincts were wrong. Okay, I gotta get Kaitlyn out of here. I can't kill all of them. What the fuck was that? You guys stay down there, okay? Holy shit. Or help Caitlyn, but don't get killed. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Oh god, 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 Emma Abigail do something. I don't want to lose Caitlyn too. I've already killed a bunch of people. Silver shells. Yeah. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. Yeah. If she passes. Mm. 
window. So I'm gonna try to go by the... I don't know how. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck! Fuck! Shit, don't die, don't die from one fail, please. Please. Crap. Please give me another chance. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I can't believe I've been like doing so well pretty much the entire game and I'm getting everyone killed. <laughs> Wait, what? What's this? Oh, yeah. Oh god, I forgot. <sighs> so what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and... Now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Mm -hmm. Burn. <laughs> Literally. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Us. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. And he set the fire? Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Hmm. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh, you don't have to look hard. You really don't. Well, they were both not that. Okay, I didn't understand what's ha what happened at first. He's on the roof. I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get it. No, I need to grab the gun. Please, don't die. Brian, wake up. Brian, come on. Oh shit! Shit. Oh god, okay. Go! <sighs> Ryan is just asleep. Where did he go? That didn't do it, right? It can't. He just disappeared. Because that's not how you, you need to. You gotta be nearby. Yeah. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Can Ryan wake up from his little nap? Wait, come on, Ryan. Wakey, wakey. We got a, got a werewolf to hunt. Are we there yet? <laughs> You're okay. I love him. Been better. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. Oh, she's wearing like one of mom's dresses, I'm assuming. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. Yeah, sure is. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Mm-hmm. Kinda. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. 
to what? be honest, I kind of want to do it, to be honest, because the way he talked about hunting for that wolf boy, kind of, I mean, I'm not going to do it, but it kind of rubbed me the wrong way a Whoa. lot. I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, oh, so we're high risk. Blood. Okay, that's what it is. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Like, I don't think I'm going to kill him. Um, but the way he talked about Silas and going after him really rubbed me the wrong way. It makes me think he was like a happily, happy participant of the fire. Like, burning everything down, killing people just to get to Silas. So, I don't know. Maybe if I get a chance later on, I might do it. We'll see. Like, it all depends on how everything goes down. I don't know. But right now, I'm not going to do it. Let's fucking do this. Go team. <laughs> God, I've gotten so many people killed. <laughs> I'm thinking about it and I'm like, Jesus Christ. I need to like go to the map and check. Okay. Um, yeah, here we got Dolan and Caitlin dead. Abigail and Emma are alive. Hell yeah. So far. We got a dead Max. We got a dead Nick. And wait, the others aren't on the map, okay. But we got a living Laura and uh, Dylan. No, Dylan, not Dylan. Dylan's dead. A living Laura and uh, Ryan. Okay, let's look at this. They really should have got that fixed. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Laura, Travis, and Ryan ra ran Silas down after he attacked the car. Sure did. Caitlin failed to overcome Caleb. I'm so sad about that. Okay, Laura. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast oh, shit. <laughs> this is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Silas. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. Mm -hmm. It's Eliza Voris. Liza Forrest. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. What? Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Like against his will or is like a thing? Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. Hmm. How did the fire start? I want to know this. This I want to know. Travis. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? Tell us. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. I'm pretty sure shut her in the stomach, but okay. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. Oh. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. 
It's just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get silence out of his cage and give him his freedom. Hmm. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn? Liza? Whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Hmm. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better about Travis. Because I thought it was like the family, like, while hunting for Silas, like, burned it. But Kaylee was trying to save Silas, get him out of his cage. And then Caleb got bit. Okay. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. <laughs> you got something to say, Ryan? You've been awfully quiet. <laughs> this, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. You said Man. it. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. What you doing, Ryan? Don't wander off from the group. <laughs> Not a good idea. Oh my god. Ryan? Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Okay. Jesus Christ. He's in this cage? Huh. He's just laying there. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? What's going on? Shoot, you stupid girl! Shut up, Travis. I have to. I'm not gonna risk anything here. I feel bad, but like... <sighs> Are you sure about this? Shoot. <sighs> I feel bad, but the amount of people he killed it had to be done. I feel like it had to be done. Please, I feel bad, but it just, had to be done. Let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. Yeah. It's too late for that. Felt like I had to do it. Let's go through stuff. I'm guessing we're at the ending now. Silas the wolf boy. It says dog boy, but sure. He never left the woods, spending his days and nights living feral, nesting in his old cage and evading the wrath of the Hackets. 
I feel really bad, but with the amount of people he killed, like I felt like I, I, I had to do that. Kaylee and Git and Caleb started the fire, meant as a distraction to free Silas the wolf boy, whom they pitied. That's how all this started. It's so sad. The night of the fire is when Chris was bitten. This is where it all began for him. The ghost stories were true. The ghost of Elisa, the hag of Hackett's quarry, has wandered these woods for six years, looking for a lost baby boy. That's upsetting. Laura killed Silas, ending his line of infection and curi curing every living person who was bitten at Hackett's quarry. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I mean, I feel bad, I but... I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. I'm sorry. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, don't haunt me. Spy from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. That's really mean. Don't now do that. I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. That's really mean. I don't like that, Eliza. I'm sorry, though. Bobby Hackett live uninjured Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris his brother in werewolf form Jedediah, alive. Thanks to Bobby fending off Werewolf Chris, Jed survived the attack. Chris Hackett, deceased. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Constance, deceased. Laura shot Constance face off in a struggle for the gun. Nick, de deceased. Werewolf Nick was shot dead by Laura when she mistook him for Chris. Sorry. Kaylee, deceased. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Jacob alive. Having successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed from Hackett's basement and survived the night. Max dead. Max ran back to the mainland where a hungry Caleb was waiting for him. Abigail alive. Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Emma, alive. Emma survived the night in the safety of the surveillance room. Caitlin, deceased. Caitlin was killed by Caleb on the roof of the lodge. I'm sorry. Dylan, alive? Dylan hid in the classroom surviving the night and avoiding infection. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry. Caleb, alive. Caleb returned to his human form permanently when Silas was killed. Hold on. Travis alive. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to a curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan alive. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura alive. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, carrying every infected person to survive the night. Silas dead. Laura killed Silas the dog boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. That was a lot to read because it went by so fast I had to like hurry through it. Sorry about that. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense. Dylan is definitely dead. That must have been a bug. <laughs> he definitely fucking died. 
Also, it literally told me so on the map, so that was Summer a glitch. Summer camp tragedy. A bug Freak for me. bear attack leaves several Ooh. dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what? It's several. Several murders. <laughs> you know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I Girl, thought we'd done Grace. the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly oh, yeah. what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <laughs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? <laughs> yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, okay. and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. <laughs> Thank you. That's oh, something that's so that sweet. podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just I'm so sweating. happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen <laughs> to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, Was it you Ryan? open it? Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. <laughs> oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Definitely bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If it's gotta be Ryan. The one who <laughs> sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really... Really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. <laughs> Get your own key. I love their I'll banter. Lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you? What are you hiding? <laughs> what am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that what, ghosts girl, are what? real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. People okay, can you open need your to be doors. More concerned with murderers. Yeah. Take a look. Apparently, they found another body. Whoa! You Ooh. can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're gonna do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. <laughs> okay, fine, yes, you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah, Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't <laughs> verify this info. Of but... course you can't. What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. Okay, but I it's feel not. very strongly I experienced that it. he was 
drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, Hell okay, yeah. I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see, they're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Anne Radcliffe? Still missing. Who knows? Wait, I just noticed I summer camp tragedy freak know. bear attack. I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up oh is? Oh my ass hurts. You can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're gonna present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your <laughs> ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos oh. that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, please. <laughs> okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Sorry, I'm so well, quiet. I'm just, I haven't, obviously I haven't heard this one. They have photos from their camera and they have a monogram of their initials. It's a I little harder to commentate least. over like a podcast. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right. So these guys are like the heritage. This is a cool language, way of releasing right? the final mm -hmm. episode of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Their great 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 grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. <laughs> Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's I have no idea what that is. Fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. <laughs> they dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, Ew. classic bad guy name, the Definitely. seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest, a lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres I go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Oh. One song performed by Siobhan Williams. Cool. Popping in your mouth. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Oh, Anton. There's more. Today, I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm -hmm. They're going to go through all, all right. the evidence, I'm guessing. Um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma, allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest outside this damn house and camp and i sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are maybe we can explain what's going on 
fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more. And right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just mm. dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mm -hmm. mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there yeah. was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh God, why? Holy shit. This is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Mm -hmm. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad shit, fam. What? <laughs> what? Signed by Travis Hackett. <laughs> We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now, to me, empty implies that it was once full. Samesies. Bloodstains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that Werewolf way. Werewolf blood. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. <laughs> okay. Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down uh -oh. at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. It's just Emma's picture have to of the monster. Something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is actual oh, okay. footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool! A camera in the middle of the woods. Did they find a squirrel? Be honest. If it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look, anyways. Okay. That is a bear that is a bear to you there is no way that is a bear okay well it uh, a skinny bear a skinny bear this okay could be some of the clearest footage of something like this i've ever seen right it's kind of blurry though blurry and convincing sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. That's yeah, true, but, but it is not the fake. What doing with footage like this Anton. anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. <laughs> yeah, I don't skinny know. Bear. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. <laughs> okay, but okay. putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm oh, yeah. ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. <laughs> okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. There it is. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors, Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my God, is this real? Yes. <laughs> I was that there. It was scary. To discuss. Okay, this looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but no. w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. <laughs> My God, what happened? More than we are being told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something else too. He's believing okay. it. He's starting to believe it. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! 
Okay, what is that? It's her, the hag of Hackett's quarry. See? Full circle. God, uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain. I, I don't what know that. what that thing. <laughs> There's this thing that makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people. There, there's Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be. Is that a whatever. Glee reference? Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't Girl believe Jesus. that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though. I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks so did happen. No, picks mm -hmm. you can fabricate. Experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. Wow, what an artisan. Thanks. Well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. <laughs> oh, yeah, please. that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton. Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably Until that dude who reference. came on and gave us a one-star review. I would Definitely. love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving Aww. on. How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait, is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I, can I see it in the, uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh? I want to touch the flesh. <laughs> well. Fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. <laughs> Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, oh, come man, on. you're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. So those kids, the ones who survived. Yeah. Why aren't they coming out with all this? Kids are always on the internet. Th these kids actually have something interesting to say. Why aren't they telling anyone? Because it could I be dangerous. Know. I don't know. Someone did come out with it. Whoever gathered all this info and submitted it to me. It right. must Do have been Ryan, right? Who this is? This could just be a teenager making fun of you. I guess he's no, a fan of the podcast. A teenager couldn't possibly do this. I think you're being cyberbullied. This is carefully curated information. Someone went into the depths of a dark mystery and retrieved all this information and gave it to me. Someone smart. Someone clever. Someone genius. And it's all been <laughs> hushed. And if what we're looking at has any truth to it, then I'm not surprised. I think we've been contacted to expose it. So these kids who survived to this, they're just out there living their lives? I mean, that's, that seems weird to me. I mean, I not a lot of them survive. Quiet. Whatever really happened, they'll be carrying it like a curse wherever they go. So you really still don't know who sent this to you? Nope, complete anonymity. But the photos, the way they're all set out, it looks like evidence. Like they came from somewhere, I don't know, official. Okay, turn it off. What? Why? Why didn't you tell me about this before? What? Uh, I've been telling you about this it. This is actual stuff, Grace. We have to take this to the police. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. then I don't you know if they believe it. I don't that. know. Maybe. You never believe anything. Why is this any different? Because it's starting to make sense, okay? Our name on that letter, the missing hikers, the family secrets. 
Uh -huh. When you put it all together, it's certainly something. Someone's trying to tell us something. And we should probably stop recording this right now and tell the authorities, right? Heck no, it's just getting juicy. And who says we're not the authorities? Uh, <laughs> I do. We're not the authorities. <laughs> what? It's not like we have a moral duty to take this evidence to the authorities. We, we do. Case reopened. New evidence to just foul play. Thanks to the evidence performed by a public zoo, it's not felt that we're not caused by bears, but by other animals. Okay. It was cool that the public has run the entire credits. It was kind of long, though. Dragged out a little bit. In my opinion. Okay. Oh, chapter's like nice. So if I want to go back later and like change stuff, I can. Okay. So that was the quarry. Holy shit. Okay. Not my thoughts. They're not going to be well put together because I'm not a well put together person. And also it's getting late and, you know, I'm probably mostly just going to go through my predictions and see what I got right, what I got wrong and uh, stuff like that. But I, I will say I love that game and, you know, I always jump the gun a little, but I feel like I think this game is much better than any game they've ever created, including Until Dawn. I know that will like ruffle some feathers, but I I don't I don't really get nostalgia for anything. Like just because something came out a while ago and like it was the first thing, it doesn't matter to me like ever. Like I don't care about remakes, I don't care about reboots. It just it's fine. It doesn't ruin the first thing. It's just a new thing. And I think this is better than Until Dawn, to be perfectly honest with you. And I didn't even get, like, the best ending, but it was good. Like, it was well put together. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm a big fan of this game, and I'm so excited to replay this tomorrow. Obviously, I won't be recording it because it's it's a lot to record for 10 hours. <laughs> but I'm a big fan. Um, so, let's go for my prediction, see what I got right, what I got wrong. Favorite characters, Caitlin, Dylan, and Emma. Now, I'd probably say right at this moment, my f three favorite characters, because I put three, are probably, yes, Caitlin, yes, Dylan, but I think my third one is Jacob it, for my top three. But that is just right now, it could change completely. I have no idea. But this very moment, I think it's Caitlin, Dylan, and Jacob. So the only one I got wrong was Emma. Now that means I got least favorite character entirely wrong of a Jacob, and he's one of my three favorites at the moment, so got that wrong. Person I'll get killed according to a screenshot thing on Twitter was Ryan, which was false. I got him out alive. One of the few people who got out. <clears throat> Great. Now, here's to some bummers. I put that I would get three deaths. Now, even if we were only to count the main characters, let's do more than three. I got um, Nick killed. Dylan killed, even though he told me he was alive, that was a bug. Um, Caitlyn killed. And, um... I need to, like, look at a picture of the cast. I am, like... Sorry, I'm, like, um... I'm blanking on characters. I need to look at them to see. Okay, I got, um, Nick killed, Dylan killed, and Caitlyn killed. Wait! So main characters, oh, Max, sorry. Max, four main characters, playable characters I got killed. So, you know, I did go over it. <laughs> but that's cool, it's fine, whatever. Now as for the ending, here's also a bummer, I put happy. It was a sad ending. It really was, I was, a, I was really sad about the whole Silas thing and I felt bad and I got a lot of people killed. It was a sad ending, so I got that wrong too. Um, now to the storyline pred predictions. Here's where I get good. The monsters are werewolves? Correct. Chris is a werewolf? Correct. Chris and Travis are brothers? Correct again. Dylan and Ryan will become a couple? This one is like kinda but kinda not. They don't become a couple, but they do have flirtation, they kiss, but it's like unrequited love. Which I will say, I'm a little bit like upset about it because it's like, the first queer representation in the entire in all any other games and it's unrequited love like 
and even they even have Ryan seem interested, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It's just like it's okay. I get it. I mean, I don't get it, but it's fine. Like they were going for unrequited love thing. Caitlyn and Dylan both like Ryan. He's interested in them, but he's not not enough to go for it with either of them. I get what they were going for. I'm still really sad about it. Um, but at least it wasn't just randomly dropped. It was talked about. Uh, next we have Jacob or Max will be the Jessica of this game. And I feel like they both kind of were, but mostly Max. So I got that pretty kind of right. Emma will be the Mike of this game. This one I think I got wrong. Like it started leading up and it felt like she was going to be. And maybe she, she is depending on her choices. But she I don't think she was the Mike of this game. I would probably say that um, Laura was the Mike of this game. And this last one I got completely wrong. We're playing as Grace from Sorry Bonafide in the Allies sections. As I said, it, it was far-fetched. It's, it's in parentheses, but I got that wrong. So, um, well, so that's it for this one. Um, this was crazy. Definitely the longest I've ever filmed in my life, 10 hours. But it was fucking amazing, and I'm so excited to replay it again. Um, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of the quarry, and yeah, I'm excited to see you later this year again for the Devil in Me, which is also coming out this year, the next Dark Dark Pictures anthology game, which I'm really excited for. It looks like the concept is really cool, and I think it's the most excited I've been for a concept like um, ever in the Dark Pictures anthology, like the whole serial killer, like. A bunch of traps and stuff is what it seems like it is and that seems really cool to me so i'm excited for it but um yeah that's it for this video um uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it um and subscribe if you want to see some more i don't upload a lot but if there's a super massive game i'm playing it <laughs> but yeah see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>